Hi, my name is Mike Crane, Senior Product Manager of Wireless Lighting Controls at Hubble Building Automation. Today, I'd like to talk to you about our Y-Hub Wireless Distributed Lighting Control System. The system includes a set of actuators for on-off control and zero to 10 volt dimming, as well as system inputs, such as switch stations, occupancy sensors, and daylight sensors. All these components work together in a wireless mesh network. The final component that makes up the Y-Hub system is a Y-Hub access point. The access point consists of a web-based server device which provides information about the devices within the network. You'll use the access point to configure the system as well as manage the system after setup. From your standard web browser, whether or not it's Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Apple's Safari browsers. You can access the Y-Hub network. Here I have a, a sample of a system uh, which consists of uh, areas, zones, and groups. The Y-Hub system utilizes those areas, zones, and groups to bind the various devices together. Here we have a facility, Hubble Lighting, an area called Light Fair 2014 booth, and also a zone called Product Showcase. We can have up to 64 areas and up to 64 zones per area. So here's an example of just one area and one zone within that area. Within the zone, we have our devices. And so we have our modules, we have our switches, uh, we have our smart packs. Here I'm going to select one of the modules. And with this, uh, by the selecting this device here, I can receive information regarding that device, whether or not it's on or off, it's dim levels, the power, uh, out, uh, the power that it's currently consuming, the temperature, um, as well as the various groups and settings associated with that device. Here, I can, through my interface, turn a relay on or off. I can also, through the interface, dim the fixtures down as much as I need to. I can place the fixture into a group either through the selection of the group checkbox or I can go down and select the specific group. Here I can specify which devices participate in that group. The Y-Hub system also consists of the ability to create presets or scenes. Within a scene, I will specify what a specific device will do and what its setting is. So when a preset is activated or preset 1 is activated, these devices here will turn on and set their dim state to 100%. These two devices here will ignore the preset command. The final thing the system has are schedules. I can easily create a schedule just by right-clicking schedules clicking on Add Schedule and specifying a schedule number. The system can have up to 99 schedules per zone. Now, a schedule will consist of a specific type, so I can actually schedule something to occur at a specific time. Um, I can schedule to occur before or after uh, the building's out, operational hours, as well as before or after sunrise or sunset. For now, I'm just going to select normal time, and with that, I'll specify a time that this uh, event is to occur. We'll select 8 p.m., and then I will specify the action that occurs at that time. I can turn a group on, I can turn a group off, and I can also activate a preset at that specified time. Here, we're going to set a group on, and then I will specify which group should be turned on. The last thing that needs to be done is to specify the days of the week that this schedule should be activated. We'll select Sunday through Wednesday for this particular um, action. I'll then click on Save to save this information into each of the different modules. Well, that concludes our Y-Hub summary. 
Uh, for more information about the Y-Hub Wireless Distributed Lighting Control System, please visit our website at www.hubble-automation.com.